Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikita and today I just really wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about the shocking, awful, and gut-wrenching news that was just released yesterday that the Trump administration debunked the protections for trans students across the nation. This topic really hits home for me, not only because I am a trans female, but also because I am a trans student. And the fact that my protections have been ripped away from me when we all in the community have worked so hard and for so long to be recognized. This issue is beyond just restrooms. It's about equality, protection, trans visibility in the government. It just makes me so sad that there have been steps taken back in the community and that we have been working so hard. We have been working so hard to really fight for equality within our government and that it's not seen as a big issue because the fact that it's just giving states the power to choose how they want to go about trans rights and trans issues regarding restrooms. And it's really sad when people think that it's not a big deal because it is a big deal. It's a civil rights topic and issue that we are facing here in America. On March 28th, Gavin Grimms, a trans male student, is stepping before the Supreme Court and is going to be fighting for equal bathroom protection and equality within the school place. And it is such an important court case to have because this will resonate in the trans community and will be a precedent for future topics that will be in order and in law. And the fact that the Trump administration just debunked the previous protection, the Supreme Court can actually use that statement to totally go over the case and, you know, skip over the actual right and topic and leave it to the states. Now more than ever, we all really need to have a voice in this. We all need to be acting and in defiance and standing with our community and standing with just human beings and fighting for equality for all. I'll be sure to link in the description ways that you guys can get involved or if you're totally unaware of the situation and you want to find out more information, I'll go ahead and link that in the description. But today, more than anything, um, besides the news and besides what is all happening, I want to share my personal story with the bathroom situation. Seeing all these things in the media and seeing what the government has been doing just brings back all the terrible, horrible memories that I have of just going to school and having to deal with the bathrooms and the embarrassment and the anxiety that I had to deal with. And I just want to sit here with you guys to let you know that you're not alone if you're at home watching and you're a trans male, trans female, anything else in between. If you're just someone who doesn't really understand the topic, to maybe shed some light on the situation and to really let everyone know that I am here for you. Gavin Grimms is actually from my same home state. I am from Spring Virginia and he is from Virginia as well and I just remember the discrimination I would face just using a public restroom. I did live in a more liberal space but there was such a feeling of utter anxiety and horror just thinking about using the public restroom and I think that's something that no one or no kid has to face. High school and school is already so hard as it is. Having to even feel like you can't use a restroom that is just so inhumane to me. I was going to a public high school only two years ago. Now I am in college and I just remember having to face that utter dread. It was almost like an elephant in the room when I had to use the restroom. I remember walking five minutes to the other side of the school just to use a bathroom, which I knew that no one would use. It was definitely extremely taboo for me to even try to use the women's restroom, so I was pretty much forced in using the male restroom at the time. And I remember just listening and trying to be very observant of who was in the bathroom because I wanted it to be absolutely empty for me to enter it. And even when I was lucky enough to get inside of the men's restroom and it be completely clear with no one else in there, I remember when I would be in there and someone would obviously walk in, I would just have to sit there and wait and wait and wait for the coast to pretty much be clear because I was in horror to be embarrassed. And it honestly still haunts me today, the ridicule that I would face not only from the students, but also from the teachers and the staff. And there was no protection for me and for me to use the female restroom. I just remember feeling so alone that I didn't exist, that I didn't even have the common 
equality that all the other kids have that no one else was worried about using the restroom in school and I had to face the shocking horror every single day. The worst instance happened when I was using the women's restroom in my high school and one of my teachers saw me and had called security on me. I was put in detention. I was completely ridiculed by not only the faculty but also some of the student body and I just remember feeling so alone and unprotected and I felt that the school actually had rules against it and that there was nothing I could do. I never even told my parents about it and in that moment I just wanted to shut down and I can't even imagine the things that I would have done in the situation. That's why I do want to speak up today and fight for my protections as a trans student and as a trans kid. And I want to voice the fact that I want to be protected. I want equality. If you're a part of the trans youth like I am and you're going through absolutely anything, I will definitely leave links below or you can call the trans lifeline. There are people here for you. It gets so much better and just because the government is taking Taking action and fooling around that doesn't mean that your worth is any less than what it is you are equal you are a person you're a human that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video again I want to stress that if you want to get involved please check in my description of ways that you can call your administrators that you can get involved in the Justice Department and let them know that you are standing here for our trans kids and for our trans youth and that you will not allow this and again like I said before if you you are a trans person or if you know anyone that is going through a really tough time right now the Trevor project is open as well as trans lifeline you can get help at your local LGBT centers and you can find that on hrc.com there are many many ways we can all get involved and we can all lend our voice to the fight as well as lending our voice to the fight of Gavin Grimms who will step before the Supreme Court on March 28th thank you guys again so much for watching and don't forget breathe fire my dragons Thank you.